I am Pranal Chauhan from Scientech Technologies Private Limited. Today I would like to tell you something about the technology which we all are using, that's 3G communication system. We know the journey of this phone right from the landline phones to the mobile phone. Now we call it as a smartphone as well because it's solving a lot of our problem and it has become very smart now. We can use it for a lot of application this phone, it is just not for calling purpose. It is used for your business purpose also, for email checking, for making documents on your phone. It solves a lot of problems which were uh, when we were dependent on computer. So now we don't need computer all the time with us. A mobile phone is sufficient for us to handle a lot of the things in that. This 3G communication, uh, we, the advantage which we got in this that uh, this is having a special uh, uh, data communication line uh, uh, with it uh, through which we are getting a high speed bandwidth like in broadband in that which will help which is helping us to do the video calling video processing in that and a lot of other uh, applications related to the internet uh, nowadays so as we are talking about the smartphone in smartphone you know that uh, there are some OS kind of phones are there earlier it was uh, the, the phone, uh, the OS operating system is not required in the phone, but nowadays as it is a smartphone becoming, so we are having lot of operating system right from your Mac OS, Android and your Windows as well. So Windows 8 is also there in mobile phone. The product which uh, today we are going to talk about from the Scientech is Scientech 2138A, uh, which is understanding of 3G communication system. I'll take you to this product, what product uh, this is and uh, what feature it is having and how it will be helpful to you to understand this 3G system. Scientech 2138A, Understanding of 3G Communication System. This product, uh, you, as you can show, see on the top cover, its Android symbol is made it over here. So it will show, it will give you details about Android programming as well. This product is in textbook form. It's very handy and can be used anywhere, wherever you are comfortable is. This product is having a lot of features. Here on the top sticker we have given some information. What is AT command? What is 3G? What is the architecture of 3G communication system? And the migration of uh, 3G from uh, 1G to 2G, 3G, what are the uh, technologies which are used in 3G. 3G is nothing but a combination of 3 CDMA which has given us the speed over 1.24 Mbps for our internet uh, applications. This product is having one 7 inch capacitive touch screen. Here we have ported Android system in that. Along with this Touch screen, there is a processor which is Cortex A8 processor in this, which is connected to your modem, uh, which is for your phone communication system. So, the side which you are seeing right now, this is having a modem area over here. So, here you will find antennas are there for your GPS and GSM. This product is having G GPS also, so you can uh, perform experiment related to the GPS as well. It's having one SD card over here which is connected directly to your modem to access any data from this SD card there are some AT commands so that AT commands can be studied with this product then there is a SIM card and SIM signals are shown over here so how the signals are communicating with your modem that can be seen with this one camera for your video calling applications for 3G then mic, hands free mode, your SIM indication this LED is blinking that means your SIM is SIM has in, detected properly and there is a network in your phone right now. There is a reset modem through which you can reset your phone. There is a supply, variable supply is given over here. This is because this modem is having ADC as well. So in phone you will not find the ADC but uh, as this is for your application development ADC is given because if you want to develop any application related to sensor if, or if you want to take some data from the external world and then you have to do some conditioning on it and then you have to apply or control any appliance according to that. So there is an ADC pin is over here. This ADC works from 0 to 2.5 volt. So that's why one 0 to 2.5 volt generator is given over here which you can apply and you can check whether ADC is working fine or not. 
then speaker phone is there vibrator is there now this section is of your cortex processor cortex 8 processor here you will find one switch which is NAND and SD boot and one Android SD card is given over here right now the Android operating system is ported in that but suppose if you want to make your own Android system if you want to make your own kernel you are compiling that you have developed your own file system then that you can compile it on your PC and then you can make your SD card as a bootable which you can connect it over here so whether you want an Android or whether you would like to go for the Linux Ubuntu OS or maybe your Windows OS then you can um, generate that uh, image of that you can make your SD card bootable and you can port that OS into this system so not only Android the other OS can be made compatible with this board as well there is one Ethernet connector is given over here you can connect it to your local area network and you can access your internet if you don't want to use your data from your the SIM card you can use your external internet as well on this audio out application is there and uh, two input switches and two LEDs these are the GPIOs of your Cortex 8 processor and then this uh, debug port is there whether you want to debug your OS uh, your uh, operating system that you can do with this debug port and one USB to serial converter is given over here because if you want to connect your modem directly to your PC then uh, you can use this USB to serial converter and connect it to your PC and then there from there also you can control your uh, or you can send your AT commands to, to the modem as well coming to the applications of uh, Android we have developed around 20 Android applications uh, which are related to your phone the uh, good thing about this product is I will show you one application by opening it here when, when we open this application of voice call we have given some theory over here some introduction application of that then uh, history behind that and what are the facts required for the voice call and then when we go for the your uh, experiment for like for a voice call so when I click it it will open your calling option so here you will find that one keypad is given like normally you used in your phone to dial any number to call somebody so that keypad is given over here this area uh, which is on the left hand side you will not find in your phone but we have given this area so when I am opening this keypad whatever commands, 80 commands which are required to initialize for the calling purpose those commands are automatically come out over here so this is how student can learn that what are the commands are required to initialize if you want to do some calling from your model so this is you will not find in your phone as well so if, if this command has to be understood then I can understand that these are the steps to initialize the calling like suppose if I want to increase volume of my phone then there is a command AT plus CLVL equal to 0 ok if I want to increase its volume level then I can click on the button so whatever buttons we are having in our mobile phone each button is generating some AT command which is running in the background so doing that application and understanding what exactly is going behind will help student to correlate that these commands are useful for this application so it gives you detail uh, of each and every command there is one save lock button is there so whatever command we are experimenting right now that we can lock it and by using a pen drive uh, we can uh, connect that pen drive to the USB socket over here and we can copy that uh, log file uh, in our computer and then we can take a printout and uh, we can put it in our file also so that it will be a reference that on the particular date we have experimented so many commands on this uh, product so it is useful uh, for the uh, their file purpose also so similarly uh, if I am dialing some number uh, for example 9826608081 and if I click on the call button so here ATB ten digit number and semicolon so, so if some error is there that it will show that I have muted this uh, right now I have pressed the mute button so to mute your button AT plus V M U T mute uh, is the application right now 
so these are the commands we can uh, understand with this board itself now we'll, we normally uh, give this uh, android applications also programming of that so that we give uh, with this product so uh, you can understand how to develop your android application how to generate its apk file how to install it in your android uh, operating system that can be learned with this product one small example of controlling your GPIOs uh, is given over here. So we we'll start with this, how to access the drivers uh, of your hardware in your Android uh, programming and how to control your uh, drivers through the Android programming that is given with this. So like one vibrator button is connected over here or if I place a switch then color of this uh, button is going to change or if I click on and off so these two LEDs will go on. So how this application is made in Android that uh, we can learn with this. So this is a complete product to understand the programming of your uh, Android and uh, programming of your uh, uh, Cortex A8 processor and understanding of all the 3G AT commands. So to conclude this product will give a complete idea uh, to the student. Uh, that uh, they can understand the programming in Android OS operating system and your AT commands as well. So please try this product and uh, I'm, I'm sure that you will find it very useful for your laboratory purpose and for understanding this 3G technology. Thank you.